When the movie starts we see a father and son sitting on a boat and catching alligators. Then after some time son goes to the shore for the toilet. And when he comes back, he sees that someone has murdered his father. Before understanding anything about that situation, someone comes from behind and cuts him into two pieces with bare hands. After that, we see Ben in New Orleans, he came to the festival with some of his friends. Recently, his friend ditched him. He was quite upset because of it. He came to that festival so that he can forget her. But he sees more girls at the festival, as a result, he was missing her even more by looking at them. There he hears from someone about Haunted Swamp Tour and he plans to go there. Marcus is one of his friends, he was unwilling to go with him. But somehow he agrees to go with him. Both of them go to the shop where those tours were conducted. The owner of the shop tells that he does not do tours anymore as going to that place is not allowed. But he gives him the address of another shop, which was still doing that tour. They go to that shop following the address and there they meet a boy named Andrew who manages such tour. And at the same time, we see two models there, both of them were going on the tour with their director Doug. After buying the tickets, both of them sit on the tour bus. There were more people on the bus who were going on the tour. Andrew drives the bus and takes them to the swamp, later all of them go there and sit in the boat. Andrew starts the boat and takes all of them with him. Then from a far distance, a man shouts and tries to stop them from going to that place. But they ignore him, thinking of him as a crazy man and move on with their journey. Andrew was giving them a swamp tour, and since it was a haunted tour, he was trying to scare them. They see a house on the edge of the swamp. Andrew, tells them that this house belongs to the urban legend Victor Crowley. He tells that Victor Crowley was very ugly. Because of that, his father killed himself with the help of a hatchet. And even today Crowley cries for his father in this forest. Then Mary Beth, says that both the house and the story he was narrating are just fake. Then after going some distance, their boat gets trapped in big stones. All of them were trying to remove those stones, then the rain starts suddenly. Even after trying so much by them, that boat does not move from its place. And after a while, the boat starts to drown. Now, those people were stuck there. Then Jim climbs a tree and tries to reach the edge. But his foot slips and an alligator grabs his feet. He shouts a lot for help but no one helps him. Mary Beth then takes a gun and shoots the alligator. Then they go to the edge one by one. As those people were stuck in this trouble, they ask a question to Andrew. And here he gets exposed. He tells that he does not do any tours. His brother has sent him for a little money, and this is his second tour. He also says that the first tour was very good and the second tour was going bad in which they are stuck. And to switch the matter, he asks Mary Beth, where did the gun come from? To which she says, I am here to find someone here. Two nights before, his father and his brother had come here to catch the alligators. They did not return home, that's why she is looking for them here. And both of them were killed mercilessly in the same way by an unknown thing. She says we should go from here as fast as possible. Otherwise, we all will be killed, and no one listens to her. But they all want to stay there. She says that this is the forest of Victor Crowley. Then she narrates the real story of his real life. Victor Crowley was quite ugly from his childhood. Because of that, his father used to hide him from all and kept him alone at home. He was the only child of him. His father loved him a lot, even though he was ugly. Other children, intimidated Victor and made fun of him. As a result, both father and son lived in a forest away from the city. One day during Halloween's night, when Victor's father was not at home, some children went into his house and troubled him. Those children burned firecrackers and threw them inside the house so that Victor comes outside. But the spark of those firecrackers ignites the house door and as a result, Victor Crowley gets trapped inside. After some time his father reaches the house and those children run away after seeing him. His father tries very hard to open the door. But he was not able to open the door. Then his father takes a hatchet and breaks that door with that hatchet. But he does not know that the victor was on the other side of the door. 
that hatchet hits straight into the head of Victor and he dies on the spot. Now after losing his son, the father's condition becomes very worse. Father lived in that house for 10 years, and one day he also died. From that day Victor Crowley struggled to find his father. And whatever comes in Victor's way, he eliminates him or her. Even after listening to the whole story, no one believes her. They all were saying that we have left behind the house of Victor Crowley. Then Mary Beth, says that it was not the real house of Victor Crowley. And she shows them his real house which was absolutely in front of them. And to reach the road, they have to cross the house of Crowley. They hear a very dreadful voice while they were walking. Nobody wanted to go towards that house. But the condition of Jim was deteriorating, then Shannon takes him alone and moves towards that house. As soon as they both reach the house, Crowley comes out of the house. With the help of Hatchet, he kills Jim into two pieces. Shannon tries to run away. But Crowley also catches her and kills her badly. This scene looks very disturbing. Everyone else runs away after seeing her, but Mary Beth was able to shoot him. When Victor Crowley moves towards her, she shoots him down. And she runs away from him too. Later they all get reunited. But there was no Doug between them. In another scene, we see Doug, who is running alone. While he was running away, he gets intercepted by Victor. And Victor Crowley kills him too by twisting his neck. On the other hand, they were all trying to escape. But after a lot of attempts, they again and again come in front of that house. Mary Beth then goes into the house to find some weapons, and Ben also goes along with her. Here Mary Beth sees the dead bodies of her father and brother. After seeing those dead bodies, she feels very disturbed. Seeing such a painful death, she weeps a lot. On the other hand, they hear the voice of someone in the bushes. When Marcus checks it, they find a baby of a wild animal and then they feel relaxed. Suddenly Crowley comes there and takes model Jenna. He injures her with a belt sander machine on her face. Seeing Crowley, Mary Beth's blood boils, she gets out of her control and attacks him, as a result, he falls down. Ben pulls Mary Beth and takes her from there. By taking advantage Andrew tries to finish Crowley. But Crowley ruthlessly cuts off his head. And he dies in a very painful way. Jenna still had a few breaths. But Crowley does not give her any chance of living. And he also kills her in a very bad way. By now, they all knew that they could not escape from there. So they plan to kill Crowley. Ben, tells them that he saw fuel containers in Crowley's house. They can burn and kill him with that fuel. They all move towards his house. Outside, Marcus and Mary Beth try to drag Crowley's attention. And during this time, Ben finds fuel there. On the other hand, Model Misty was guarding outside. Ben finally gets a fuel can. At the same time, various body parts of Misty fall on him. Then he sees Crowley in front of him, when Crowley was about to attack him, suddenly Mary Beth comes from the back and catches Crowley beating him. Immediately Ben pours fuel on him and throws fire starter, setting Crowley on blazing fire. As a result, Crowley starts to burn. Unfortunately, we see thunderstorms and rain starts to pour. As a result, the fire retards and finally puts off. After seeing this they lose all their hopes and run from there and reach a graveyard. They notice the graveyard's entrance, but Crowley emerges from that gate and they run from there. Suddenly Crowley holds Marcus and kills him brutally. Ben becomes very upset as his best friend gets killed in front of him. Then Mary Beth takes Ben and runs from there, immediately Crowley takes an iron bar from the gate of the graveyard and throws it on them. It goes straight and hits Ben's hip. Now they see themselves at the doorsteps of death. Sensing the opportunity Crowley runs towards them, here Ben displays some smart thinking. He bends the rod towards Crowley's direction, as a result, that rod pierces into Crowley's body. They both run away from there and move ahead. There Mary Beth discovers her father's boat and the two get into that boat and row from there. Here it looks like they both escape death. They were moving smoothly on the boat, but suddenly Crowley pops up and pulls Mary Beth into the lake. But somehow she manages to get free and there she sees the hand of Ben.